luxury, luxurious, luxurious. <laughs> Why do I feel like I can't say that word? Old pressed and unrefined. Let's turn that off. You're annoying. Hey guys, I am here to do my updated blonde hair care routine. Uh, I know I did one years ago, but some of my products have changed. Constantly getting asked, pretty much on every video, how do you maintain your blonde hair? These are literally the questions that I get in almost every video or pictures of me on uh, social media. I am going to be doing an updated how I achieve this level of blonde bleach. Um, it's just bleach. Anyhow, um, so yes, I have added some new products, switched some things up, and two products that I am using and have been loving are the Nassant. I've heard people call it Naissant. I just say Nassant. It is N-A-I-S-S-A-N-T, tomato, tomato. I never use an actual toner on my hair, but I do use a purple shampoo. The purple shampoo I've been using is the Nassant Purple Shampoo. And it has just been my favorite purple shampoo. There's a lot of purple shampoos that very much dry out your hair. I like the tone that the Nassant makes my hair. It smells the best out of any purple shampoo I've ever used. And it doesn't dry my hair out. It actually makes my hair feel conditioned, which is crazy because any purple shampoo I've ever used always has made my hair feel dry and kind of brittle. It doesn't make my hair feel that way. It actually feels conditioned after I've used it. What I love about these products also is that they are paraben free. Score! You can get these on Amazon. I will put a link down below. Also the Nassant Tone Correcting Mask. The shampoo I use pretty much, I want to say every two weeks. I don't use it every time I wash my hair. I will use it every time I get my hair bleached and the tone correcting mask I will use when I feel like maybe my hair is looking dull, kind of zhuzh things up a bit. Basically just after you shampoo your hair, you apply this treatment to wet hair, you leave it for five to 10 minutes. The color intensity desired defines the time of exposure. The longer the exposure, the more intense your hair will be. So anyhow, these two products I am obsessed with. I've been loving. Like I said, don't use an official toner on my hair, but when I do use purple shampoos, I use the Nassant Purple Shampoo and the Nassant Tone Correcting Mask. And they are all extremely purple, as you can see right there. They are very purple. So a little bit, we're talking a little bit goes a long way. Next, if I'm just needing a shampoo with no color correction, just a shampoo, I trace a 24 hour body healthy shampoo. I know it's gigantic and I get the one with the pump. Um, and it's their new advanced technology, provides optimal body and fullness. I have very fine, thin, flat hair. So I love this shampoo for volumizing my very thin, flat, Hair. Trace me, trace me, trace me. New advanced technology for luxurious moisture for dry, damaged hair. It is their moisture rich with vitamin E, vitamin. Instantly locks in moisture. I get my trace me products at either Walmart or Target, and just for the size, I mean, you kind of can't beat it. And then for days that I'm needing extra moisture, especially after I just get my hair bleached, my roots touched up. I will wash my hair. I use the Nassant Purple Shampoo and the Tone Correcting Mask on it. Then for like a hair mask to coat and soak my hair, I use basically any organic virgin cold press and unrefined coconut oil. Right now I have Trader Joe's, but you can use any, but make sure it's organic virgin and that it is cold pressed and unrefined. And again, you can find this one at Trader Joe's. And right after I've had my hair bleached or, you know, done, I will coat my hair in this. Keep the jar in my shower all the time. I have one in my bathroom and one in my kitchen. You leave this in the shower. I will leave this on the floor of my shower so the water runs on it. It melts it down into more of a liquid. So there's still kind of some thickness of, of the actual like meat of it. And then there's some of the loose, loose of the oil as well. And I will just take a huge scoop of it and coat my entire head, scalp, 
everything, all the way down to the ends. And I'll also take some of my uh, conditioner and mix it in there too. Put it on top of my head. I'll put a turby twist on my head or I'll clip my hair up and I will sit with that on my head for a good hour. And I get out of the shower, obviously, you know, rinse off your body, sit with it on my head for an hour and rinse it out. And that I only ever do when I've just had my hair done every time because that would be pretty time consuming. But anyhow, but every time I do wash my hair, which is not often, I will wash my hair every other day to every two days. It depends on if I have like an event coming up or my hair is feeling extra gross and greasy or something, but I do not wash my hair every day, never would. Bleached hair like this, that would just be so damaging to my hair. Go ahead and do whatever works for you guys, but this is just what works for me and what I do. Every time I wash it, when I condition it, I will use my conditioner and I only apply conditioner from here down. I will take any kind of maybe remnants on my hand and bring it to the top like that. But I never apply all my conditioner straight to my root because again, I have very fine, thin, flat hair and it will weigh it down. But what I, when I do get that kind of handful of conditioner, the tresemme, I will also take a scoop of the coconut oil and apply that down my hair and work it in. I will use a little bit of the coconut oil. I let the conditioner and the coconut oil sit in my hair while I like shave my legs and exfoliate kind of thing. So just a couple minutes and then I wash it out. And that is every single time I wash and condition my hair. Anyhow, coconut oil is just amazing for your hair. Again, I get the organic, a virgin, cold pressed, unrefined, done washing my hair and I get out of the shower. Um, I will use the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I love this stuff. I've been using it for years. I'll spray this in my hair and then I pick out my hair. Yes, I use a pick. I actually pick out my hair. I won't comb it. I use a pick because it seems for me to be the least damaging to my hair. Just picking it is the best for me. Then after that, I will use any kind of pure organic argon oil. Um, and what I've been currently using is the Derm Organic Pure Argon Oil, and it is organic. <laughs> um, so I have been using this, a little bit of the argon oil into my hand about a dime size, and I just apply it to my from here down and work it into my ends, go on to blow dry my hair. Um, so yeah, argon oil, organic, any kind. It can be any kind that you can find anywhere, but just make sure it is pure argon oil. There are some times um, in the shower when I'm conditioning my hair and I may be out of coconut oil or even sometimes if I am using the coconut oil mixed with my conditioner, I will take some of my argon oil, and this is a great tip too, take your argon oil. I have an argon oil that I leave in the shower with me as well, and I will squirt a few drops of the argon oil in my hand and mix it with my conditioner as well. So you get that argon oil mixed in with your conditioner. So that's even more healthy for your hair. Guys, that is my updated blonde hair care routine. I wanted to share with you guys, like I said, it's one of my most requested videos. I am just, for having hair for my hair for so many years with this color, I have just learned, it's through trial and error, but if I can give you any word of advice, it is keep heat off your hair. Flat ironing is something I just will not do to my hair. I very rarely will put heat to my hair unless I'm blow drying it or ever so often curling. But daily basis, no. I will not, I keep heat away from my hair. I use a roller brush and a blow dryer and that's how I achieve kind of the smooth looking flattened out look of my hair. I have a technique of how I blow dry it because it will kind of help give me volume to my hair and fluff it up a bit and all that. So anyhow, that's it guys. That is my blonde hair care routine or tips or stuff that I use. I will do a video. Um, if you guys want, give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see a video of like the tools, an updated video of like the hair tools that I use, like brushes, blow dryers, curling irons, stuff like that, let me know. And that's it. That is my blonde hair care routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Products for the nascent, nascent, whatever you want to call it. The link will be down below for that product. Amazon, amazing. And a little goes a long way with that product. If you guys are having a great day, please be kind to each other always. And I will see you in another video soon.